Warning! The anime egotists have opinions about stuff and other stuff. Please understand this while watching the video and know that no opinion is a fact. Not even yours. So please enjoy the video. Or don't. Eh. Hello everyone! I am Sophia Ring, SP Saturn the Seventh, and you are watching Anime Egotists. Enjoy! And welcome back to the Anime Egotist, where no one wants to hear us sing openings. In, in yeah. any in any language, really. It's it's quite tragic. But what isn't tragic is me. Foster. I'm Reginald, I'm RG3 if he was a little less athletic, and I'm joined by the man himself. And I'm Williamson. That's right. <laughs> and you've heard us talk about anime openings before, both English and Japanese openings that just really make our hearts happy. Yeah, I mean, they're what's supposed to get you into the show. You hear them, and you're instantly, I want to watch this. However... We we don't have to do this video. You know that, right? We can we can just go home now. Yeah, but we promised, I think, at some point. We we did. I'm sure. Yeah, so but for every look, there are a lot of great anime openings out there, both English and Japanese, but there's a handful of them that well aren't as good. The ones that I don't mind if you would skip some of these openings, and that's what we're here to talk about. And this one, we're doing the English ones, correct? Yes, we're going to start with the English ones, and then later on there'll be another upload with our least favorite Japanese openings. Yes, and I gotta tell you, it got... Oh boy, finding, finding bad English opening themes was kind of difficult, because there aren't that many anymore, which is sad. But we made a, li we made a list, so do you mind if I start? Go right ahead. All right. So, <laughs> oh, I don't like taking the piss out of this series because, in all honesty, I really haven't given it that much of a chance. But I don't like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel English opening, the first one, Take a Chance by Michael Brady. There's, with every Yu-Gi-Oh! theme, the, well, the first one kind of had a majesticness about it like with the pharaoh and all the stuff he went through. And admittedly, you could argue that they took it a bit too seriously at the time. But of course, they have the iconic lineup. It's time to duel, along with the amazing instrumental throughout it. Mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, while, <laughs> while a bit of a, kind, it, a complete contradiction to it, it did get you excited. It had an awesome electric guitar riff. It had some lyrics that... I, that range from pretty awesome to hilariously goofy, but it still worked. And Hyperdrive, they've had some amazing instrument and, and really actually like bed, above average lyrics. And I thought they did a really good job with it. But the Zexel English opening just, I, I don't know. There's no, there's no change in tempo. It's like the same beat pretty much all throughout the song there's it doesn't get any faster or that much slower the singer just immediately starts which is kind of weird and he's just singing through the whole thing and and just it doesn't give me the sense of danger in any way it just it kind of feels like this was made for a completely different show it felt like more of a commercial for Yu-Gi-Oh which you could argue that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is but I don't know it didn't feel like an opening theme for Yu-Gi-Oh yeah, I mean, I don't really remember this one. I know I saw it years ago when I think I was giving Zexel a shot after hoping for kind of the same thing that happened with me with Pokemon, where there was a few years where I stopped watching, I didn't play the games, and I was hoping to get back into it again, and I just didn't like any of this, so I didn't even bother after that. I, I was about I to say, I, have, haven't you, ha from what I remember, have you not even finished GX or 5Ds, though? No, and that's more along the lines of uh, I finished like through uh, for GX. I finished through I think the second season. I I know I've seen through the uh, end of the Society of Light arc and all that, um, and then I kind of stopped and mainly because I had already heard at that point that the ending they were not going to get the full ending, so I never bothered watching the next part of GX and then. Unfortunately, with 5Ds, that was kind of when I fell out of Yu-Gi-Oh! And 
I guess if I was to go back, I'd probably try to watch that sub just so I could get the whole story. Because I know that there's like at least one arc at the end of that one as well that didn't ever get English dubs. So. Yeah, Five Ds was weird. It had like a ten episode. It were like ten episodes towards the end that were only subbed, and then they went right back to dubbed for for a good bit, and then they went right back to just subbed. It was weird. Yeah, so I kind of fell out of uh, those shows, but. I, I do remember not liking pretty much anything about Zexel and not watching because there was a lot of stuff I just didn't care for. Yeah, I want to give Zexel one, another chance, but this theme song is just not the way to do it. It's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 I normally like songs that don't explicitly say the name of the show in it. It like we talked about the Zatch Bell theme and we talked about a couple of others, but this just wasn't the way to do it, in my opinion. Yeah, I'll have to sign off on that based on my limited knowledge on that one all right what's yours so i'm gonna start with one that we've actually kind of talked about on the show before okay. and one i know you really love okay and that's the one piece pirate rap the all four right. kids original opening all right uh why don't you go ahead it absolutely does not capture the emotion of the show especially in those early arcs where it's the founding of the crew and all that we are I watched, of course, the Funimation dub uh, to get me into One Piece again after all that. And so I love We Are. So when I heard that this existed and went and watched it, I was like, wow, it makes me hate all these characters. Because <laughs> he just he's rapping and he's talking about their, I guess he's trying to describe their personalities, but he does like one word to describe each one. And it's kind of like, no, 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 just, just don't and i don't know it, i think this was a very popular thing to do with the uh create a rap song for their english openings and most of them are not good is uh is that everything is that all you have to say for that song yeah I, as i said i've only listened to it a few times only because i like we are so much better Okay, so it's my my turn to talk about this. Yes. How fucking dare you, you insolent ingrate? How dare you insult the majesticness of this song? How, how it proudly tells you everybody, his name's Zolo. He's just like a samurai. He's not a samurai. Hey, don't get him confused. He's just like a samurai. And then L-A-D-Y, Nami's not shy. We don't need to know anything more about Nami. That's fine. <laughs> Usopp's doing that marksman thing. Obviously, you, you gotta do that marksman thing. Sanji's cooking. There, there's nothing more than that. Chopper's doctoring. There's no other way to misinterpret that. He's doctoring, obviously. I am disgusted at the fact that you don't recognize how amazing this rap is. I'm disgusted by the fact that this is even on your list. That's strike one. That's strike one. Because I know Jogger Joe would be on my side for this. You sicken me. You double-deckered pig fart. We gotta get Jocko Joe back on the show. All right. The only thing I really like about this is the fact that they have uh, Brock's voice actor at the beginning as the narrator. It works somehow. Yeah, it was his. It was his idea to do the rap. Maybe if he actually did the rap himself, maybe then it would work. Well, that would have been so much worse. <laughs> Dreaming. Don't give it up, One Piece rap. You're so much better than Williamson gives you credit for. <laughs> All right. So what's your next one? All right. If you're going for a rap, I'm going for a rap. The Dragon Ball GT rap by Shorty the Man. I feel like that's all I have to say. I feel like there's not a whole lot more I need to say on this, but this is like we've gotten a lot of awesome Dragon Ball theme songs. We got a lot, whether Japanese, English, everything. Step into the Grand Tour. That's what the name of it is. The name of it is. But this just. I don't know, it feels like they're trying to reach for that extreme group with a weird rap sort of thing, like trying to get to the cool old young group, but it, it, there's no, no, this is not the way to do it. And I'm and I'm actually a little bit insulted that Team Four Star made it Vegeta's theme song when he fought against Raccoon. That was cruel. That was awful. <laughs> But yeah, this is not. Oh God, I gotta go back and watch that then. <laughs> I haven't. I never paid attention mainly because I didn't like the song. Yeah, it's 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 not. 
it's it's not it's not it's not good it's it's really bad yeah i, I actually really lucked out because when i watched gt even though i didn't look out because i watched gt good lord i watched the version that had uh, um vic i think singing the an english dub of the original japanese opening if i remember correctly and so that's what i watched when i watched gt yeah Vic, vic's good for singing he's good for that but so, yeah, that, that, yeah that, that... i can agree now if vic decided to rap the song i don't know if he could fix it but anyways, yeah, kind of GT empty. Rat, no, never, not again. That's the reason Dragon Ball GT is in canon. Toriyama heard it and he's like, nah, fam, this isn't this ain't this ain't it. I'm gonna show you how it's done and then created super. Yeah. While listening to the One Piece rap. <laughs> no. Let, let's move let's move on to the next one before I have to get a new co host. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Zoid's Chaotic Century English opening. <laughs> <laughs> I think I mentioned this in my favorites, but not as a favorite, just as a something that's bad. <laughs> the music in this works. It's yeah. a lot of guitar, really good rock uh, song. The fact that the lyrics are just a guy screaming Zoid's constantly is... Um, well, not the best choice, that's for sure. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay, so admittedly, yesterday, because I was making the thumbnail for this video, I thought to myself, wait, what was on his list? Oh, right, the Zoids theme. And I went back, and out of curiosity, I just listened to it. I'm just like, okay, let, let me see what I'm, I'm getting myself into. And I heard the music, and I legitimately started headbanging to it. And I'm like, this is good. This is... And then I heard him say Zoids a bunch of times. like, all right, you're losing me. You're, you're losing me. And the funny thing is, the first time you told me about this, I wasn't thinking it would just be Zoids, Zoids, Zoids. Like that—that's bad. But I was—I just, I was actually expecting far worse. I was thinking Zoids, 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 like some crazy person screaming at you. Like pa the Power Rangers RPM theme. I love Power Rangers RPM, but that theme song is just some dude screaming at the audience. It's not good. Yeah, this is. This song, if they had done some sort of actual song with the music, I think would have been really good. But just the fact that the majority, there might be more lyrics I don't remember at the end of it, but for the most part, it's literally just a guy saying Zoids. It's not even that he's screaming that loud. He just says it. Zoids. Zoids. He's trying not to wake his parents. He's in the basement. He's trying not to wake his parents. Yeah, I really think it was one of those guys with the actual toys fighting them and he was just screaming zoids as he hit them together <laughs> i would love to meet someone on the playground like that but no i agree if they I, either add actual lyrics and make it a song or just say nothing or maybe just zoids at the beginning or the end not the whole song and with a little bit more enthusiasm not like the crazy scream but if it was more enthusiastic than just him repeating it on loop yeah no, I I, 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 I understand. Yeah. I understand. Not a bad song as an instrumental, though. I, I it, It's a headbanger. So yeah. am I next? Go right ahead. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of a hard one to describe, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, we talked about Dragon Ball before, but I want to stop picking on GT for a second and move on to Z, because Dragon Ball Z Uncut had an opening by Dave Moran, and... I don't know if pe I, I, I want to emphasize this because I don't want people to get this confused. I don't mean Rock the Dragon, of course. That's amazing. And I don't mean the one that goes da 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 Like, everybody, everybody loves that one. There's this other one that was on Cartoon Network or when they were showing Dragon Ball Z Uncut. And it's this instrumental, and the, I feel like the only words that are said is when Goku's charging up his Kamehameha, but it's a... Here's the thing, this isn't a bad song, but it doesn't work as an opening. This works for, like, maybe a commercial or maybe music in a video game. But the other, it's, here's the thing, it feels generic at times, so like I said, it really doesn't work for an opening. And it's, like, most most anime openings in Japanese are a minute and a half, like the perfect length. 
This was in English with no lyrics, and it was almost a two-minute intro. It's like a minute 45 or something like that. That's way too long. Like, it, the song is not good enough for me to sit there and wait as I'm waiting for this show. Oh, where nothing will happen because Dragon Ball Z is long. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I made the mistake, I mean, years ago, and I've told Alex about this, because I thought it was Rock the Dragon was the opening I didn't like as a kid. Because And you still, and you still have the stab wounds from me and Jabari <laughs> to prove it. Yep. Uh, where he was... Um, I just thought it was this opening. I later found out that the version I had watched was Dragon Ball Uncut, and that so I got this opening. I said when I heard Rock the Dragon, I was like, "This isn't what I heard the first time," and yeah, so I was really confused. And of course, that's the thing with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, especially there, and I guess GT as well. There's so many versions of it. Yeah. Yeah, heck, I had some people say they didn't like the Dragon Ball Z Kai opening. I'm like, uh, no, I'm I'm fine with it. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there were like two different versions. And one sung by Vic and one sung by Sean Chamel. And I I think it's safe to say the Vic one is better. But so that's why I didn't include Kai on my list because I do like the Dragon Ball Z Kai opening. Mm-hmm. For one thing, it's a pretty decent song, and two, it's not almost two minutes long. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so once I found out, though, I was like, oh, well, that's so much better. What version is that? And I, <laughs> I think I rewatched Dragon Ball uh, Z after that again. And Yeah. yeah. Anyways, Ace, maybe it, should, maybe it shouldn't be uncut. Maybe you should cut that theme song. Anyways, next, what's, what's up for you? So I'm going with Mega Man NT Warrior. Uh, love this show as a kid. By God, this opening is bad. It's literally dial tone at the start. <laughs> or, sorry, um, dial up computer is what I meant, not <laughs> dial yeah. tone. And it's just God, and especially once I heard the uh, Japanese opening for the show, that is so much better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I told myself I was going to go out and listen to this opening again because it's been several years. And I just remember, I, worst part is, I don't even remember hating it when I first listened to it. I just thought uh, that was, I was more confused by anything. I was like, that was weird. Why? Uh, so I guess I just have to co-sign. I mean, I mean, I guess one thing I can say is I have listened to the theme song from the newer Mega Man series, Star Force. And while I'm sad it doesn't have any lyrics, it is like a tech, a kind of cool techno thing that does work for it. And there's no dial-up sound, so that's that's always a plus. Yeah, this one, it just... Especially once, if you go and listen to the Japanese, the Japanese uh, opening is so much better. But God, I wish that they had actually finished the show. There's at least two seasons that never got uh, dubbed, and I don't even know if they've been fully subbed anywhere and god i wish the show would have actually finished and i'm hoping that we'll eventually get a re-release of the games because i really want to play them all okay quick side note about that did you mention this show in our best and worst anime worlds to live in or did you mention it in anime re in the anime remakes one i I want to say i want to say it was the best worlds to live in but it could have i don't know i I'm thinking it's that one mainly because this one would never get, unfortunately get a remake probably because they're not making these games anymore. The only way I could see that happening is if they decide to do a game re-release and to advertise, we're going to redub the show or release all the episodes subbed in some format. Somewhere. That's fine. That's fine. They can do that. Yeah, I mean, that's the only way I can see it happening. And of course, the, we'd have to be Capcom would have to be wanting to re-release the games, which they should. They, HD they, okay. remasters of these would be amazing. Apparently, they've said they they're taking it into consideration, which means by the time we want them, they'll by the time we forget about them, they'll be like, oh yeah, we're deciding to do this. I'm like, well, it's like a year or two too late, but take my money, go for it. Anyways, next opening, go right ahead. You know, I'm, I'm kind of sad. I kind of wanted you to... Okay, so I'll just... we, In case y'all haven't noticed, we're Pokemon fans. We are po- we are Pokemon... This isn't a Pokemon shirt. Never mind. 
we are Pokemon fans. We love Pokemon. And I kind of wish you had started with a Pokemon theme. You had started with the Pokemon theme, so I had a little bit more of a segue for this. But, y'all, I love Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, old Galactic Battles, Battle Dimension, Cine League Victors, all that. The first ever Diamond and Pearl opening by Breeze Barzinski is not, it's not good. It's, 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 believe it or not, it's another rap. But it's like a heavy metal sort of rap, and the lyrics just, the lyrics don't fit. The lyrics really don't fit. And considering this is the 10th anniversary, I was expecting something awesome as a kid, and I heard it, I'm like, what was that? Yeah, uh, this was, I've had at least two times in my, where I was trying to watch the show as a kid, where I stopped watching. Um, I watched through Battle Frontier, and then, this is the first one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I started to try to watch this, and I think I stopped about 10 episodes in, and then... I would later, I think I went back to, all the way to the beginning and rewatched everything at that point, and then started watching Diamond and Pearl and just sit, kept skipping the opening. So, yeah, it, it's. This was one of those that was kind of at the end of my first set of liking Pokemon. I was about 12 or something, and so it's Pokemon's not cool anymore. <laughs> Yeah, and well, well, then again, we can't forget about legendary lines in the show. Like, it's a brand new game. It's a brand new world. New rivals as you fight for survival. I'm like, wait, are people trying to murder us? Are, are Is this where Pokemon starts getting real? Like, people are actually trying to kill you? Why are you fighting for survival? I, I understand what it but, means, but it's, it's, I don't know. They're trying to kill us, not Ash. Or our brain cells. Either way. Either way. <laughs> Yeah, this is not a good song, especially since Battle, since Diamond and Pearl had such better themes, like the one, Battle Dimensions is a lot better, Galactic Battles has, I'm sad Galactic Battles wasn't on one of our best English opening lists, because it's, it's a, ma it's an amazing song, Cine League Victors, that opening was alright, and notice, the Diamond and Pearl rap is one of the few Pokemon songs that ha doesn't have a full version, in as far as I know. Almost every other song has a full version. Some of them, some of these songs need a full version. Version. I want to be a hero being one of them. But di they're just like, you know what? We got like 30 seconds of this. Let's just move on. If you want to hear a good version, go check out Silverstorm's version. He just released it because that that's a really good version. But uh, Diamond and Pearl, that rap, it, does, yeah. <laughs> it makes me want to change the world. So that song just didn't happen. Seriously. And for, for, I, and one more thing. I'm not saying anybody who maybe composed or rapped or sang any of these songs, we're not saying they're not talented. Far from it. We're just saying the song just didn't work for one reason or another. Yeah. Again, it may be the constraints that they were uh, forced to work under. It could just be that this would have been one of those extra songs that, if they were just writing a song that they threw on an album or something. So it's... They ha a lot of these people have talent. It's just more talent than not, we'll ever have. That is true. It's just not used in a good way here. Of course, of course. Anyways, do you have do you have another do you have another opening? Yeah. So I was going to save this one for last, but since you did your Pokemon, I'll do mine. I have not. I had nothing else before <laughs> honorable mentions. So mine is the first Pokemon Black and White one. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanted to kill this song. <laughs> it's... Uh, god, it, it, even they do... This is, I think, the first one that they don't use traditional animation yeah, that's uh, right. for. So they've got Pikachu flying around on a black and white checkered board thing with all these other Pokemon. And it's just... It's just not good. <laughs> there is no way about it. And if you want proof, watch Mojo has this on their uh, least uh, or lowest rated ones as well. So, which, which is weird because everybody else everybody else hates this song and then gets mad at Watch Mojo for talking badly about it. Like that's so weird. 
Anyways, this is not this. I I completely agree. This is this isn't one of those songs I can pretend that I enjoy it. It. I guess my the poor singers they're trying their hardest, <laughs> but it's just not. It it's just not. It doesn't work. Not to mention that in my opinion, the black and white themes across the board aren't all that good. And tr- like I like the second one okay. No, the third one. I like the third one okay, but I don't know. There's just there's just I don't know. But which do you think that would be their first song? Do you think it was that singer's first song? I don't know. Oh, right. well, well, if it was, I would tell them, it's always hard when your journey begins. <laughs> hey, don't exit out. You can't exit out this time. We're filming. We're filming. <sighs> I know. But God, uh, yeah, this one, this was the other song that, and this one was the one that lasted from probably the time I was 14 to uh, about 20 when I met, uh, when you got me back into Pokemon. Yeah. I, I do remember when, well, I do remember one time after class, we were jamming, listening to all the Pokemon themes in order. We got to the song. You said, can you skip it? I'm just like, I, I mean, it wouldn't feel right if we skipped it, but sure. And I just, we just moved on. And we both agreed that that was probably for the best. Yeah, but I co-signed that. Anyways, honorable mentions? Go right ahead. Okay, I'm not... This is an honorable mention because technically this isn't classified as an English opening. But the whole... But like 99% of it is in English. And that is the Naruto German rap. First of all, I would have loved to have put this on my best list, but here's the thing. It's too good. It's too good to go on the worst list. So I have to use reverse psychology to put it on this list. I mean, think about think about the amazing lyrics that it has. Here I am with my ninja clan. Ninja clan, here I stand. Naruto, I'm on my way. Naruto, I'll be okay. Think of those comforting words. I'll be okay. I'm on my way. Like, look, like just this song, this song is like a whole level of magicalness. It's so good that it's bad. People say it's so bad, it's good. No, no, no. It's so good that it's bad. And remember, his friends, Sasuke is really cool. Sakura, the beautiful. We don't need to know anything else. That's it. That's all. There was a second version too, but it the, the second version isn't nearly as good as the first. So the Naruto German rap is on my list. Uh, I've listened to this once, thanks to my co-host, and it's... It's there. <laughs> I, we should have filmed your reaction because the mortified look you had on your face was just, it was just pure chef kiss. It, it's, yeah, I mean, it is every 90s rap opening that we've already pretty much discussed. So th- remember, people got paid for that opening. Yeah. Yeah. And I would just like to give a shout out to my good friend Gina, the person who introduced me to this song several months ago. Thank you, Gina. I will never, ever forget this song because of you. Okay, but yeah, Sorry. it's... Yeah, if you haven't listened to it, look it up. It is very similar to the pirate rap in a way. It's so beautiful. It's so good that it's bad. All right, so uh, my next one. Your and honorable this, mentions? Yeah, this is my honorable mention. Okay. It's the Ice Shield 21 uh, English opening. I only found this because I typed in English, or I just typed in Ice Shield 21 opening and got this instead of the other one. And I love the other one so much more. And this one's probably just personal. I'm sure people probably like this one or don't like either, but the other one. It feel it actually for some reason has a feel for a sports anime, which this is because it's about a football player in Japan. And by football, I mean American football. The other one is just it, it's not good. So I've only heard it like once or twice. So that's why it's an honorable mention. The others are just yeah. I don't. I was, like the I was about to say, is it the instruments, the singer? What's 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 the deal? It's. It's the same. It, it doesn't have the f- same feel as the Japanese one. It's, it, it's probably a, a fine song. I just 
don't like it. Oh, it's a, per- a personal vendetta. Got it. Yeah, that's why I put it as an honorable mention. I don't really have any way of describing why I don't like it. It's just I like the other one better. So. And I've never heard it, so I can't say anything for or against it. All right, you have any more honorable mentions? Nope, I only had one. Same, so I'm on to my final one as well. Oh, boy. Look, look okay, so I'm just going to say it. It The first Pokemon Sun and Moon opening by Janiel Candris and the Sad Truth, Under the Alolan Sun. Look, 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 I'm not saying that everything Sun and Moon did was bad, because there was a lot good about Sun and Moon. But hey, this is called the worst English anime opening, so don't get upset at us for saying this stuff. This is not a good song. I like Ska, but this feels way too happy. It feels way too happy, and I don't know, this this kind of started the trend of, in at least in America, Pokemon train, the Pokemon characters doing really random stuff in the opening. Like, there's there's a clip of them just being shoved together and randomly dancing in the opening that just gets my blood boiling. I, ah, I don't, and I remember when we first, I remember because when we first started watching Sun and Moon, it would show a couple of scenes, but it would skip the theme song. It would go straight to the title card. And you and me were like, what, wonder, wonder what's going on with that? I don't know. And all of a sudden we're waiting. It's, I remember it was a Thursday night. We were waiting for our roommates because we were going to watch Impractical Jokers. You were goofing off on your laptop. I was goofing off on my laptop and my phone. And I start looking up. I'm like, oh, the Pokemon Sun Moon English opening. I wonder if it's any good. I start listening to him. I'm like, oh, oh. And the second I'm done, I run over to you. I'm like, you, you, need, to, you need to listen to this. And, and you, you look at me like, it can't be that bad. And then you listen to it. Yeah, I mean, you really have to kind of like happy, very happy, almost island themed music it's it's so, un- it's kind of uncomfortably happy when you start to think about it, it now fortunately to- that's kind of how far they took the show in this in that season though they went way to the they went from almost the darkest pokemon has ever been to very the brightest and happiest it's ever been and it's very jarring yeah and the thing is, it, in some senses, people could say, well, the next theme, Under the Alolan Moon, that was was that was a bit darker. So in a contrast way, it kind of works. I'm like, yeah, but it didn't. Here's the, the difference is Under the Alolan Moon wasn't didn't go like supremely dark with its theme song. Um, I actually think Under the Alolan Moon is one of the more underrated Pokemon themes out there, even though it's like an R&B type of thing, which you don't think would work with Pokemon, but somehow it does. Yeah, but yeah, you have to. Re- I mean, is this possibly the worst one? I don't know. It depends on who you probably ask. Again, neither of us like it. No. But again, we both really liked X and Y. So for this to be the next thing we see, it's very jarring. Well, to I guess in to be fair, the last X and Y theme stand tall. It what it wasn't that great hey it was okay i guess one of the thing is the japanese opening for x y and z was like fantastic in my opinion it really worked but i don't know well speaking of pokemon please be sure to pay attention to us next saturday when we talk about what happened on pokemon day yep so for my final one it's just so happens to be the pokemon journeys theme <laughs> That was just to see his reaction, so no, no, no. In all honesty, that is actually a really good opening. Uh, No, my uh, last English opening is the Rave Masters opening. I showed this to my co-host last weekend after we finished filming, and this one is the absolute worst when it comes to the exposition rap theme songs that English dubs got in the 90s. (laughs) You don't like anime raps from the sound of it. Well, you had a few on your list as well. So. I had like, let's, let's, I had like two, okay? And I it's not because two. it's rap. It's not, yes, but here's the thing. You also dogged the One Piece theme. So how do I know your taste in music it is any good? Okay, but just, this one is kind of next level because... Again, it has the start where they describe wh- why this world exists. 
and wh- uh, what happened, but then they just go on about, like, they give the whole story of what's going on in rap, and it's really weird. Yeah. And a carrot-nosed dog. Yeah, this because here's the thing, with all the other, with other raps, it get, you can kind of argue that there's a bit of hilarity to them, so that's why that makes them fun. This doesn't really feel that way. This just kind of feels, it kind of feels awkward and just, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of it when you showed it to me, so I guess I, so I guess I have to co-sign. Yeah, this one, especially when you, this is from the same guy who made Fairy Tale, who has some amazing openings. It has some bad ones as well, but it has some really good ones. So the fact that this is what this got, and yet they still let him have another anime. I, again, I, I know he doesn't get to choose what the theme is, I'm pretty sure, but still, it's like, wow. Wow, okay. Yeah, because I only I watched, I think, the first half of Rave Masters and stopped because I couldn't, I just didn't feel like watching anymore. Yeah, I, I, I guess I have to agree with that. Do we have any other ones we need to talk about, or is that it? Nope, that's just about it. All right, ladies, gentlemen, and others, what do you think? Think Do you agree with our picks? Do you think we're wrong? Are there any other in- bad English opening themes out there? Because we, we struggled coming up with these lists, because they're, it's kind of tough to find some of them. Do you think that um, English openings should come back? I mean, I they used to be so big in the... Uh, 90s and early 2000s and then they just disappeared and sometimes they, as we said in our previous video they can be really good i think pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh might be the last ones really doing it consistently we get a few every so often but those two consistent i was about to say i know persona does it but that but i there's no way i was putting those songs on my worst list yeah so let us know do you want some more English openings? Do you want that? Or do you want just to stick with the original Japanese? Or do you want to write about that on our next video after you find out what we don't like about the Japanese openings? And do you want more raps in anime? The answer is yes. No. Yes. No. Maybe (sighs) raps in Japanese. Maybe that would work. I haven't listened to very many rap in Japanese. I was about to say, they're pretty dope. But yeah. Just let us know, and like I said, point out point out some other ones we might have missed because this was a hard list to fill out. And just mm-hmm. let, and just join us next up, and join us when we talk about the worst Japanese openings because there that was a lot that was a much easier list to do because there are some great Japanese openings out there, but there there are some stinkers. There's mm-hmm. there, and, and, and just heads up, some of them are going to be from pretty popular anime, so just just try and be cool about that. Anyways, this was Foster and Williamson, and this has been the Anime Egotist, and with the Anime Egotist, if you disagree, you're wrong, and we both endorse the Naruto German opening and the One Piece rap.